Hey everybody, Superfly Gaming here. So I don't know if you've heard about this, but if you play Pokemon Go like I do quite a bit, you know that Niantic have created this nice little bonus event at Halloween, obviously called Pokemon Go Halloween. I'm showing you a couple of pictures on the video right now, and it will show you basically what's going on and what you can expect. So, what they're doing is they're allowing you to get double candies basically and that's pretty awesome because in these particular situations you'll get candy upgrades if you transfer a Pokemon you'll get two candies if you walk an egg and hatch it instead of getting the standard three candies for the actual Pokemon you'll get six and instead of getting ten for the base hatch rate of the egg or twenty for a 10k egg you'll get double. So, if you're walking a 5k egg, instead of getting 10 candies, you'll get 20. If you're walking a 10k egg and it hatches, you'll get 40 candies for a 10k egg. That's not too bad. So if you've got some 10k eggs in your bag, just wait. Because the event starts on the 26th of October. That will be today. So, what you want to do is get all those eggs that you've saved up and walk them. Also, when you capture Pokemon, you'll also get double candies. So, say you're walking about, you see a, a Dratini, you'll get six candies instead of three if you catch it. Uh, back to the 10k eggs, if you hatch a Dratini, you'll get 46 candies. So, that's pretty awesome if you ask me. This is a great opportunity as well for walking your Pokemon. So the buddy system, you can get four times the amount of distance for walking your Pokemon. So if you've got a uh, like a Geodude or you've got a Pikachu or a Clefairy, which are usually only require one kilometer to walk, you'll, you'll get four times the candies for that rate. So basically, that translates to about... 0.25 kilometers per candy so that's pretty awesome like that's really awesome if you've got a 5k egg um you know uh sorry a pokemon that requires five kilometers of walking which is uh, the 10k eggs so say dratini or electabuzz or magma you will get it you'll only have to walk 1.25 kilometers to get a candy so this is a great opportunity to try and get a Dragonite if that's what you're after. As for Bulbasaur, Charmander and Squirtle, if you want to try and get Blastoises and Charizards and Venusaurs, this is your opportunity because every normally you'd have to walk three kilometers to get a candy, but you're only going to have to walk somewhere in the region of about um, uh, 0.75 kilometers to get the equivalent candy. So. Oh, and another feature that they've added, and I don't think it really makes any difference, but they've made Zubats, Golbats, Gastlys, you know, the ghost Pokemon, spawn more often than normal. Now, they pretty much spawn all the time for me, Zubats do, and Drowsies, so I don't know if that's going to make any difference. But this is a great opportunity to save some candies up for evolving. So if you've got some Pidgeys, try and catch as many Pidgeys as you can, and Weedles and Caterpies, because when you catch the candies, you're going to get more candies for the catches. So you're going to be able to stock up on them. So if you've got enough to evolve the Pokemon to get, you know, um, tall candies to evolve into a Pidgeotto or tall candies to evolve into a Metapod or a Kakuna, now is the time to do it. Because you can really get a lot of experience points in this and you can get a lot of candies in other Pokemon. So I hope this has been useful for you. I know I've pretty much had a static screen on my Pokemon list here and I've shown you a few of the details and features but just so you know this is a great opportunity to try and get some more Pokemon and experience points and I'll have some more Pokemon Go videos coming up soon. I'll be talking about the new Pokemon and what kind of evolutions from the generation 1 Pokemon you can expect and a few other bits and pieces so stay tuned i've just made a quick announcement for you if you weren't aware of it thanks very much for watching remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you later